mulligan all this. Prepare yourself. Nature's blessings upon May you. the light grant you God. peace. One health is indeed all you need. With every step, the light guides you. If they're ramp druid, one of these two, it's rogue. I think I'm gonna take this. Let the dead rest. Mm -hmm. Now I do wish in this spot, given that I drew this, that I had the sermon. You cannot crack my carapace. So this is good too. Tread freely. Big fella. <laughs> Get our opponent a Slurpee. Mm-hmm. You cannot crack my carapace. I guess I can't. Looks like I'm here just in time. All right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Don't really have a great play. That's a pretty great play. At least a medium, medium play. Alright. So... Um, this is an easy Leviathan. I think I take a city tax here, because it gives me flexibility with... I already have a Time Warden. We're actually in an okay spot against Scale Venixia because our board is quite large. Mm -hmm. This guy takes six things to kill. Mm -hmm. then this guy. Uh huh. Great. Okay. So I'm going to. Just two for me. seven. Time Warden, Light of the Bronze, Fine Shielded Guy, Ixia? Yes. Okay, we're gonna do this on this side. I, it doesn't really matter. They have like Devour. Miracle Run. Okay. Though we have a quality city tax, or a quality plus warder. Yep, you're at 11, we have over, well, you're 16. We have enough. Don't let them harm the eggs. And you die. So, the stats from Righteous Defense on the, uh, the... Uh, Amber Watcher turned out to be a very, very big deal in that game to allow us to pressure them down, so... Feel good about that decision, that decision and how it played out. It is indeed time to save the world from this evil mage! May the light grant you the They're really a rogue! Well, even more evil that I need to save the world from. I guess my keyboard won't express itself. Very talkative, Goya, very talkative. 
where you followed. Uh, really, it's not too heavy. Let the dead rest. rest. Mm. I don't have any cheap minions if they do have like an objection here. Oh boy. Stand aside. I so won't loud. show you mercy. Stand aside. I will not show you any. Oh god. Already on both our qualities. That sucks. Reporting for duty. No, no, I I've got this. So I don't want to play this because it telegraphs that I have two qualities in my hand and doesn't actually accomplish anything. So we're just going to say go. It also is something we can use to test like a, a secret for objection or something later. Paladin secret, okay. Take two and call you in the morning. <laughs> so this is probably like noble sacrifice. Oh, we just get destroyed trying to kill it. I mean, I think I have to just let them harm the eggs. Try, because I'm just Yep. Judgment of Justice. Cool. Cool. That was careless. I mean, I don't really have a hope. We were just hoping that it was something like Avenge. I guess I'd just say go. Yep. Cool, another free card. Destroy my guy. Draw some cards or whatever. Hey, Putricide is so powerful. Hmm. I guess I want to play an Amber Watcher. Looks like I'm Even though it's only healing me for two, it at least, like, induces my opponent to do things to spend their mana on something. Oh. Let's muddy the waters. Cool. Now I can't even get to it with Leviathan. I basically have to draw a city tax here. this so I can potentially carry all their board next turn. Oh, the pups hear someone at the door. They traded off their future side first? Okay. Yep. They trade off their future side. I guess they're just drawing more cards. Okay. All right. Yeah, City Tech's not a holy card, so you can't draw with him. Either. Well. Our hardships only strengthen our resilience. Remember the problem. I mean, we have, we have now dealt with basically their board from turn three. And now they still have ten cards in hand. They have like a million concoctions as well. Uh, Enzo with the Prime Sub and then uh, Mr. Leet. With the cheers, I just want to say thank you so much for the content, especially the recent Enraged Warrior decks. I've had a ton of fun. Run two slams and two mannequins. Have Trog and Weapon Draw any thoughts? Those seem 
pretty narrow to me. Like one of the things that I think is pretty important for that style of deck is that you are able to consistently apply pressure and build a board to snowball with and having reactive cards like man the cannons and slam feels like it's going to lead to you having a lot of hands that just don't do that. Um, so I would recommend against that, but it sort of depends on, on the sort of metagame that you're facing at your ranks and everything. Like, if you're playing against tons of, say, uh, Imp Warlock, I still probably wouldn't play Man the Cannons. I'd probably play uh, Whirling Combatant instead. Why draw first, then dredge? You get more information about what you want to put on top because you know My time is through. almost up. Unless you're looking for a card that you're going to play this turn, you almost universally want to draw first and then dredge. Guys are soaking up all those buffs. All right. Our gift of the arcane enlightens us. Our gift of frost shields us. One mana nine nine. Let's go. I mean, they probably have like destroy two guys, destroy all the guys, destroy every guy that your opponent has ever drawn. They have enough concoctions to like literally just blow up board forever. I actually have no concept of how many concoctions they still have. Let's muddy the waters. Okay, they have played Jackpot now, and they've played that tooth. The Scourge! Die in three turn guy, die in three turn guy, die in three turn guy. No. That guy's undead? Oh, the more you know. Unfortunately, it was not a particular. My time is them. almost up. Are they dead? If they don't deal with this, they die, right? Killering the guy. Right. Do they just not have anything? What? What were all those concoctions? Let the dead rest. All are equal under the light. How did we win this game? Like, I literally just sat there and tanked oh, their knolls and their future side for forever. What? I feel like maybe they, they like got greedy in using their like destroy a random minion things on things they really did not need to do. And then honestly, like I've no maybe all their concoctions were just draw cards and they just had far, far too many cards in hand to actually find what they needed. That was such a weird game.